do it, but I refuse to fall in love. Mom, my heart is confused. I can't run the country and go through the selection without you. But I have narrowed down my suitors to the elite. I should probably tell you who's left. Oh look, it's Maradilia. Hi, Edlin. I know your brother ran away to France and your mom had a heart attack, but the country still doesn't really like you. The good news is they love me, so I'd like to help you get through these tough times for totally unselfish reasons. No hidden agenda here, of course. That's great. Edlin, no! Edlin, your mom is away. Hi, sweetie. Is your heart confused yet? It's a little confused. What should I do? Maybe spend some time with your suitors? I guess it's time to go on some dates. You know I'm here for you if you ever need a distraction. Wink, wink. Ugh, Kyle, I really used to hate you, but now I'm glad you're in the selection, even though I refuse to fall in love with you. I'm happy I'm here too. Aww. Um, who are you? I'm Gunner, one of your suitors, remember? Can I kiss you? Okay, if you must. Yeah, I got nothing. Bye. Hi, Eric. How are Henri's English lessons going? Not great. It'll be a long time before you can talk to him without my help, which won't make things awkward at all if you decide to marry him. This is why I never wanted to have a selection. Oops, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. Don't worry. You can trust me. I don't know what I would do without you. Hi, Henri. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Ugh, how am I supposed to fall in love like this? Sorry about all those rumors in the papers. I sent you those flowers for totally unselfish reasons. No strings attached. Aw, that was so nice of you. Edlin, no! So, things are still pretty terrible, but it's been nice to take a break and spend some time with your mom. I'm in no rush to go back to being king. Well, I was thinking, what if you and mom weren't king and queen anymore? What if I became the queen? Works for me. Thanks, Dad. But first, I have to go on some more dates. Elin, there's something I need to tell you. What is it, Hale? I can't marry you. What? Do you also refuse to fall in love? No, I am in love with Ian. Well, that was unexpected. I'm so happy for you. But will you at least stay until my coronation? Of course. I'll always be here for you. You're so sweet, Hale. That's what makes you beautiful. Kyle, do you remember our real first kiss? How could I forget? You were four and I was six and you threatened to have me hanged. Oops. Sorry my death threat ruined your first kiss. That's okay. Maybe it's not the first kisses that are supposed to be special. Maybe it's the last ones. Aww. Wow, you look beautiful. Thanks. I'm so nervous. I need this coronation ceremony to be perfect. Here, take my grandmother's ring. I'm supposed to give it to the girl I marry, which is totally not you, but I think it will bring you good luck. So I want you to have it. Am I falling in love? God save the queen! Bonjour. Well, well, nice of you to show up. Sorry I abandoned you and left for France to marry Camille. But you have to do whatever it takes to be with the person you love. It doesn't matter who you love because you're going to marry me instead. Mwahahahaha. Wait, what? I thought you were here for totally unselfish reasons. 
Nope, there's no way you can run a country without me. Ilya loves me. Just look at all the fan mail I get from my admirers. Um, do you just carry those around with you wherever you go? Not important. Edlin, if you don't marry me, I'll turn the country against you. Edlin, no! Oh, Eric, everything just got so much more complicated. But when I look at you, my heart isn't confused anymore. Is there any chance you feel the same way? Your Majesty. No, right now I'm just Edlin. You're always just Edlin, and you're always the Queen. You're everything to everyone, and infinitely more to me. Aww. What is this place? It's a secret safe room. It hasn't been used in years, so no one will find us. Does that mean I can ask you for one more kiss? You can ask for one, or two, or twelve. I love you, Edlin, but when your selection is over, we'll have to say goodbye forever. My heart is breaking. I know we've barely spent any time together, but I want you to know that I'm falling in love with you. Um, that sounds fake, but okay, Fox. Uh-oh, looks like I'll have to speed up this whole selection thing. So I saw the news. Should I be worried about married? Ugh, no. I just have to get engaged ASAP. Okay, then let's get married! No, Kyle, we can't. If you marry me, you'll have to give up your dream of building these beautiful houses. That doesn't matter. I would give up anything for you. No, I won't let you. I hereby banish you from the palace. Goodbye, Kyle. Goodbye, Your Majesty. <laughs> it looks like I'm marrying Henri, which means Aiko will have to leave forever. My heart is broken. <laughs> Henri, you like me, right? Yes, I like you. I like you too. Will you marry me? I marry you? Yes. Yes. Are you sure this is what your heart wants? It's what I know I should do. But I can't marry Henri. I want to marry Iko. Who? Eric, the translator. Oh, that guy who's always lurking in the background. That's the one. I know I'd be breaking the rules, but he is who my heart wants. Then break the rules. Break all the rules. You're Edlin Shreve. And no one is as powerful as me. That's my girl. Good evening, Ilya. Guess who I want to marry? It's someone you've never heard of. Hey, Eiko, come here. Will you marry me? Yes. Well, that was easy. Yay, I bake you cake. <laughs> it's a funny thing being the product of a fairy tale romance. I never thought I would find one for myself, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> 